Greetings, my friends. Jason here, and it's uh, Monday morning. I just had a couple of thoughts in my journal, and I just want to share those with you. Um, this is the first time I'm doing this. I'll probably be doing more of it, so bear with me as I go. I'm not normally a morning person, and one of the things that I'm working on doing differently going forward is becoming more of one. So, uh, sorry all you night owls. I'm, I'm jumping ship. But anyway, so uh, today, uh, while I'm thinking about uh, what I'm going to write in my journal, I uh, just realized how much information is being passed around the world, uh, whether it's social media, Facebook, what have you. There's all these, you know, all these platitudes floating around, all these things taken out of context, some positive, some negative, you know, some are left open to interpretation. Uh, but at the end of the day, I just got to thinking about the one that says, you know, you should start your day with gratitude, you know, and why is that? And uh, the reason for that is very simple. Um, something we don't think about a lot is what is the result of our behavior? You know, where does our behavior come from? And the simple answer is our behavior comes from our emotions, which come from our focus. So if you think about people who play on the highest level, people who are always able to rise to the occasion, you know, you think of a Ray Lewis in a locker room when he's firing up the team, you know, you think of a power lifter whose trainer slaps him six or seven times before he goes to a big bar. You know, all these people are changing their state. They're changing their state of being, their emotional state. And they're wanting to change their emotional state so that they can generate a new behavior, a different outcome. You know, Ray Lewis wants to win the game. You know, the power lifter wants to get the bar off the floor or whatever the case may be. You know, and this is just a tool that anyone can use. Anyone can use it. It's being used all day, every day, whether you know it or not. Sometimes it's even being used against you. Um, you know, if you think about politics, for example, you know, right now what's big in the U.S. is the politics of envy. We have the politics of class envy and the politics of someone has something that you don't, therefore it should be stolen from them and given to you. Uh, and politicians use this to make people believe, you know, to create this emotional state of lack uh, and victimhood so that they can get your vote. And that's a way that this tool can be used for evil. Uh, but it can also be used for good, and that's what I would encourage you know, each of you to do. So each morning, you know, one way you can implement this is just wake up and before you pick up your phone, before you check your emails and your messages, just go to a quiet place and write down three things you're grateful for. Three, just three. And each day try to think of three new things that you're grateful for. And what this does is it puts you in a state, an emotional state of happiness and gratitude. You know, we see people walk around a lot um, a lot of times just uh, discontent, upset, you know, the world owes them something, the world did something to them, they're a victim, they're, uh, you know, they're not responsible for where they are. And the reality of it is, is nothing could be further from the truth. Sure, you know, life deals us all, you know, tough times, you know, and I'll share some of mine in a future video. Uh, but at the end of the day, you know, how you respond is directly um, tied to your ultimate outcome. So we have a choice at the end of the day to create our emotional state or be a victim to what someone else has created for us and have an emotional reaction. So starting your day with gratitude will give you the ability to walk out of your house happy and content. And when you walk out of the house happy and content, you'll attract other people who think and believe and move in the same way. Just, in the, just as those who walk out of the house discontent and upset attract people who feel just like them. You know, misery loves company. So today you have a choice to make. Wake up, change your state by showing gratitude for anything. You know, even if you have nothing, you can be grateful for the air you breathe and the health that you have. You know, show some gratitude. That will change your emotional state. Your emotional state will change your behavior and your behavior will draw the right people to you. And through those people, who knows what will happen? So anyway, take that for what it's worth, and remember the most important person you'll talk to today is yourself. Take care, guys.